Hello, okay, right, in this video we're going to be checking and setting the air gap on the armature, or coil as you may call it. Before undertaking any work on your mower, make sure the first thing you do is just remove the spark plug lead. This will stop anything from sparking while you're working on it. So first of all you need to unbolt these two bolts at the front. There's also two at the back which needs to come off, and to do this you need to do it with a 3 8 spanner. Once you've removed the front two, then you can go ahead and remove the two at the back as well. So make sure you store these bolts in a safe place. Okay, so now you've removed the four bolts and you should be able to just lift this top cover up now. And that just comes straight off like that. Now if you're lucky you should be able to remove that without actually taking this dipstick out. So for those of you who don't know what the armature looks like then this is it. It's basically just a coil which sits next to the flywheel. So some people have different names for it but it all means the same thing. Some people may call it an armature, some may call it a magneto and some may call it the coil but if anyone says that they're referring to this. So next you need to find the model number of your engine. This is normally on the front of the top cover you just took off. So once you've found your number, you need to then find one of the specification sheets for the engine. Now, your engine may have actually come with one, which would be very useful. Um, and you need to look for the armature air gap setting. So this engine is 250000. And then when you look at the armature air gap, which is just here, and then go down level with it, you'll see that it's 0 0.014. OK, so once you've found the air gap size, then you can just slacken these two bolts off which hold it in place. So once you've slackened these two off, then you need to spin the flywheel so that the magnet is not touching the front of this armature here. So once you've got that away, then you can pull it all the way back and then just nip these two up again. Just so it holds it right back in the far position. And then what you need to do is get a feeler gauge and set it to the right amount for your air gap. So this is set at 0 0.014. And then you need to just slide it in front of the face there, in between the flywheel and the armature. Just in front of the first one. And then you can slacken this one off again. And push it forwards. Don't force it, just let it go on its own. And then tighten it up. And then do the same for the other side. And that's your armature air gap set. So now you should be able to still move the flywheel without any problem and that should be the perfect air gap. So once you've made sure that your bolts are nice and tight and they won't come loose when it's running you can then put your cover back on and then you can give your engine a test run to make sure it works. 